Now, let's talk about one of the most interesting privilege escalation technique, which is SC8. When we installed ADCS, we have checked the web enrollment box, and that allow us to enroll certificate from the web as we did before. By default, those web enrollment sites allow authentication through NTLM, and that's bring us to the possibility of relaying that NTLM authentication to other services. I am not going to go through relaying in deep, but feel free to leave a comment and let me know if you want a full video about it. Maybe building the put it put them or DFS course to get a better understanding. Let me know in the comments below. So basically, we have NTLM authentication enabled in those web enrollment sites. That means I can intercept the domain computer or user NTLM authentication from a different device and relay it to the web enrollment site and then grab a certificate as that user. Now we can listen and wait for a high privilege user to authenticate to our machine and then relay that to the web enrollment interface or we can coerce it to do that, which means we force that machine to authenticate to our attacking machine and then we can relay Lay that to the web enrollment interface. So let's do it. First of all, if we just curl the web enrollment interface that we used before and take a look at the headers, we will see NTLM is allowed. I'm gonna set up an NTLM relay server that is listed for all known protocols. We specify the target that we want to relay that NTLM authentication to, which is the web enrollment interface. Then we specify the template we want to abuse after, like we authenticate to the website and dash dash EDCS, just to mention that this is an EDCS abuse. There we go, we are listening now. And all we have to do is for the domain controller to authenticate to our attacker machine. So the relay server intercept that. We're gonna use the DFS coerce Python script. The core idea behind that tool is based on forcing a Windows machine, typically a domain controller, to initiate a connection to our attacker machine. But why is that possible? Well, several Windows protocols such as MSRPRN, Printer's Polar Service, MSFS RVP, File Share Shadow Copy Service, MS EFS RPC, Encrypting File System, and MS DFS NM, Distributed File System, allow an authenticated or low privileged user to interact with the services. Many of these services make the DC or the target machine authenticate back to the calling user. This tool, Automate this by calling a variety of DCE, RPC, Distributed Computing Environment, Remote Procedure Call services that leads to the target authenticating against the attacker machine. As I said before, if you want me to make a deep dive video about it, let me know in comments. All right, let's use it. So Python tree, DFS chorus, dot pi, dash u, low privilege user, dash p, password. Then we specify the attacker machine. And then the target machine that we wanted to authenticate to our attacker machine, which is the DC. As you can see, we have received a connection from the DC and we are attacking the CA server. And at this step, it's successfully authenticated to the web enrollment interface then generating the CSR, the certificate signing request, while choosing the domain controller certificate template. And then, after the certificate is signed by the CA, we extract it. As you can see, we have got a dc$.pfx. Dollar sign means that this is a machine account. Since we forced the DC to authenticate to our attacking machine, that means that the domain controller machine account is what's going to perform the authentication. With that certificate, we can get the NTLM or TGT of the domain controller machine account and then we can perform a DC sync attack. So we're gonna use the PKN tools which will allow us to authenticate using the PFX certificate and grab a TGT. So get TGT PKN.py and we specify the PFX cert, then the user and the file where I want to save the extracted TGT. Then we specify the IP address of the domain controller. We have got the TGT in the file.c cache Let's export it to the krb5cc name environment variable. Let's check if it's imported using keylist. As you can see, we got it. Now we can use secret stump to perform a DC sync and extract the domain administrator and DLM hash. We got it. And let's use WinRM and we are in the DC. Great. 